Welcome to Tech Altem Tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create a jQuery drop-down menu within 15 minutes without any plugin. Okay, so jQuery drop-down menu. Let's start. Now, to create a drop-down menu, first create a nav element. So let's say this is my header element with h1, and after header, we have a nav element okay so this is now so with now we have an ordered list ally and hyperlink so this is a link okay and this is a drop down this is also drop down so this is the structure we got three links and two drop down menu now add some css header Padding This is my header and this is my nav With dog background now add a class name Top nav So dot top nav adding ten background triple three. Okay, now top nav on ordered list ally dot left need clear so use after. Blank content, clear both and display block. Now add color to hyperlink. Let's say it's white or dark gray. Add margin. Okay, to add more space, use padding. But with padding, we have to add change the display from inline to block so that we can get more click area. So, see, this is my hyperlink. We can also use hover. So, on the hover of Li. And also change the font color. Okay. Now this is first drop down, this is second drop down. And another link in between. For now, for drop down, we want two carrot icons. And let's say after drop down, we have some other content. This is my article. Okay. So now, first, let's add two carrot icons before this drop down and this drop down so to add carrot icon let's add a class name drop and with the drop class use before to add carrot icon so how to add a carrot first use blank content in before and now add some border Five pixel solid so this is border on blank content so the default display 
is inline change display from inline to inline block so now this is the new shape now change the border color so we got two four border colors so first should be white and remaining all transparent transparent okay so this is my carrot shape to change the position use position relative and top let's say 50% or in pixels left minus 3 pixel okay so this is my carrot now usually in css router menu we just hover and this menu opens so now create a drop down element so dev class drop down with the list and data again here With some more elements this is the default structure now so this drop down menus are also floating see the inspect so this li is also floating so see this line number 38 so just because of this line 38 code this the, means the parent drop down top menu and the drop down menu both are floating now use child selector and float this so use instead of descendant use child selector to so see the difference now so only these are drop down so this is a new change now so we are using child selector not descendant now the display of drop down should be none so call drop down class and first change the position from static to absolute so now they are absolute element so this is the default add a background color okay so this is the background now now see this is the hover of li so when we hover this all elements are selecting so this is not good so do one thing again there add child selector see now it's okay so only the selected one hovered one is highlighted not all one others okay now change the display so by default they are block so for drop down change display to none so now instead of using hover we have to use click function of jquery so dollar dot click of whom click of these two elements only means click of drop class and drop class so when we click dot drop class a callback function and the first thing is e dot prevent default to stop default action okay if we click this hyperlink this will redirect to another page see but the click of these two elements we have to use even dot payment default so now what's the logic here let's start with the toggle dollar this this means current a dot next next who drop down dot slide toggle so if i use slide toggle this is happening now so is it okay So this will drop down. This is drop down. This is again. But thing is that at one moment only one drop down will be open, and so for that we have to add a logic. So this is not allowed. Use 
f block in a create a condition if dollar this means current drop dot next so who's next drop down so see this a is uh, hyperlink is if this is the uh, this element so the next is dot drop down if this hyperlink is this so this drop down is the next element so if this dot next drop down dot check it's open or close to use is filter and it is check it's visible or it's hidden so if it's hidden alert say yes okay now see this is hidden so we'll get yes this is hidden we'll get yes but suppose this is not hidden okay so temporary suppose this one is not hidden so see click this so if is not working for that you have to use else now else say no so now if here again if if we remove display then now this is else and this is again else so we have a, a condition if and else it's if it's open hidden or show if it's hidden what to do so suppose this is hidden so what to do open the drop down so dollar this dot next who drop down dot slide down okay so this will slide down if we click the next one this will slide down but this one should close first so before the slide down dollar all drop down should slide up okay so both are working now if we click this one this will slide up so this is else condition now so go to else and dollar any drop down which is open should slide up so this is open this is open now click this one this will slide up so this is a simple drop down menu using jquery okay so just one if condition is required here okay so don't use this one i have just commented now to add some more features in drop down menu let's say we want one another feature which is if we click outside so this will hide so for that you have to use another function this is dot drop means again the same hyperlink dot for blur in jquery we have on sorry focus out so when there is a focus out of drop so this is focus of drop down this is the focus of this so when we click outside so this is blur event so before blur we use focus out for the focus out a function and what this function will do this function will slide up all the drop down so see this is open this is open now click outside this will slide up so if this is open and we click outside this will slide up okay so this is an optional line of code if we want or we can ignore but for good usability please add this one so this is for desktop not for mobile so to create a full width drop down like from this to this add another class name to let's say this drop down full drop down a full drop down width should be 100% and left should be zero okay so this is 100% of viewport so change position of parent element to relative okay so now change float of ul
So this is one. Okay. Add a border at the top, not for you will for this. So this is a border, add a color. Okay, this is a border color. Now you can add more drop in menus. One, two, three, four. So we have more space. You can also add some margin. Top bottom zero, left right, let's say 20. Okay, so this is simple drop down, this is full drop down. Okay, and both are working. Click outside, this will slide up. So, this is the example of how to create a simple drop down menu using jQuery. Okay. Now let's check the same drop down menu on any touch based device. So use inspect. Choose any, let's say I'll choose iPad. And uh, this is not responsive right now, but we are using viewport. So I'll just change it to 80%. Okay, so this is 80%. And let's take the landscape, landscape mode. So this is touch interface. Now, if I click this, this will open. If I click this, this will open. If I click outside, both will slide up. So this is touch interface. So this means, uh, so that means this dropdown is good for both touch interface and non-touch. So this is how this dropdown is working on a touch interface. And if we close this, see the same dropdown is also working on non-touch, means our normal desktop interface. So this is called good usability means this drop down is usable for both the devices touch base and non-touch base okay